Yoga essentially means to obliterate the boundaries of your individual nature and become universal. Where is our individual nature? <laughs> if you observe the nature of how your life is happening, if you observe, you are not able to observe the life process. Even if you observe the physiological process, you understand without the umbilical cord of breath and bread, you cannot exist here. So if you breathe consciously, you know you and the atmosphere are not different. If you eat consciously, you know you and the soil and the earth that you live upon are not different. The problem is, our individuality is formed essentially by our thoughts and emotions. If you give unnecessary levels of significance to your psychological process, then you become a cocoon of your own. Then you feel lonely in this world. Then the experience of life is you versus the universe. This is not the way to live. The psychological individualness that you experience is a great privilege that though you are a speck in the universe, you are given an individual experience to even sit and wonder about the universe itself. So it's most important that we should be consciously able to obliterate the boundaries of our individual nature and know our universal experience. Once you experience the universality of who you are, then life is of a different nature. Physical world, material world is just a play for you. Thank you.